Hey guys, this is Austin with CR Components. Going to be removing a nut on a GRM final drive. First thing you can see me doing here, once you get your uh, end cover off and your planetary and sun gears out, is you're going to be exposing two 8mm nut pins. Uh, there's internal threads on those nut pins. They're standard 5mm threads. Um, on motors that are dirtier than this, it's best to try and get a pick in there and make sure that all those threads are cleared out. Obviously, you can use a pick, some air, whatever you got laying around. I use brake cleaner there because we just had some oil in there. Um, what I'm using there is just a regular slide hammer that we got a 5 millimeter bolt stuck to the end of it. You see me kind of just sit there and tap them out. They don't normally give you too much of a fuss coming out. Uh, every once in a while you'll have one broken, which if you can get the piece that broke off in there out, you can you might be able to still thread it in. If not, there's a bit more of a process to that. You can see me taking the second one out here. Uh, when the threads are clean, they're not normally ever damaged that I've run into. So as long as you got the right size bolt and slide hammer, they'll come up pretty easy for you. Okay, so now that your nut pins are out, wipe the black death off your hands, because of course this one's black death. Alright, so, so you can see here, um, I'm using a Dremel, what we like to use on ours to actually file these back is just a, just a regular old chainsaw bit you can get in a hardware store, it's a Dremel attachment. Um, the goal of this is when you put those nut pins in, when you install them, when you're putting your motor back together, what it does is it locks your nut in place. And what it does is it will actually mar and smash the threads of the nut up. So when you go to remove the nut, if you haven't gotten rid of those threads, that's why a lot of people have their threads get bunched up and marred up when they try and spin this off. So the goal of this is to actually cut those threads back in order for that nut to spin freely so you don't damage the nut the nut threads or the threads on the brake housing itself. Uh, the easiest way I've found to do this is I start in the middle and just kind of smooth out where those threads had already been smashed by the nut pin and then just kind of work right and left. One thing to be extra cautious of is you don't want to hit the side walls of where that nut pin goes on the brake housing itself. What can happen if you get too far into that sidewall is it'll loosen up where the nut pin slides into and you can actually have those nut pins fall out. Okay. So back this up on a bit. I got some of this before out. Pull this out real quick. Just make sure it's all super clean. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try just so we have a picture or a little bit of a video, but this line is generally my target to Dremel back because I know that's where the threads end. So as long as I can get clearance all the way back to here, I know that these threads on the housing are never going to touch these nut threads. So now that we got both sides cleaned up, uh, we torch holes in the bench here and here. Jonas, you might have to adjust a bit, but we bolt this down to the bench here. Got a couple different nut tools but this one is custom made these tabs specifically fit these four tabs in here so you got four tabs on your nut and this is specifically made we sell these to fit down around those tabs Let's see if we can get that sometimes it likes to fight of course I think we're in there and it fits a half inch of 
three quarter inch drive. Oh, sometimes they take some muscle to get them first started. But you got really good threads and you're just swapping seals, come right apart. So, hopefully, see if, see if this will spin on my hand. That's probably about gone. So, still got a little bit of threads on there. I'll just take some flathead screwdrivers most of the time when the threads are real nice. And sometimes when the threads are really nice, you don't even need to break it loose because these will just spin off on their own. So, take it off the rest of the way with your fingers. And the nice part is if you can get it off clean, you can reuse your nuts. You don't have to buy another one. And after that, since you're already bolted down, a lot of times what you can do is just give it a little yank. Both your bearings are right here. Brace is still intact. Now you can get into your face seals. Both face seals. These are definitely going to need to get changed, but. But you get in to change your face seals, the bearings, and we can get back into this bottom face seal. Good to go.